hey, it's time to get the toxic people out of your life. Hey everybody, Ray Gage here, coming to you once again from Las Vegas, once again from my Mastermind Council Retreat, uh, who I talked about in the last show, and Lisa said, you didn't even show us in the show? <laughs> so show some of the people, the lovely and talented Mastermind hey, Council people. <laughs> And that's Isa Bonita on the camera. Can you show yourself? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Bob over there. All right. So what are we doing here? We are masterminding. We what am I doing? And one of the questions that came up, they they somebody asked me, they said, Well, how come you have such a connection with your tribe? Why do they trust you and believe in you and like you so much? And you have that. And I say, because I do something that a lot of speakers, authors, trainers, coaches, consultants don't do is that I challenge them. I'm not afraid to get in their face and say, hey, you need to do that. And that's what we're talking about this week. One of the things I challenge these people about is who is in their orbit? What is the other masterminds are in? Who are the people they're taking advice from? Who are the people closest to them? Are they qualified to give them that advice? Uh, I was just talking, I was in London doing a book signing for uh, uh, in, in Wes Linden's team, and Wes told me, do you know, I saw you 10 years ago in London, and I was the guy who won the Simon Says contest. I said, what? I didn't even know him that he, 10 years ago he came to my thing, and I did a thing with the audience where you know the game Simon Says. So I say, Simon Says, touch your cheek. You touch your cheek. If I say, just touch your cheek and you don't, then you're out, right? So I did it with, you know, about a thousand people in the audience and then it's, you know, 200 sit down, 400 sit down, uh, whatever, and it got down to Wes, who was the winner. And what was the point of that? The whole point of that game was, who's Simon in your life? Who are you taking advice from? Who are you taking counseling from? Uh, Sean Lee was talking about a place she's going to speak, and I was told, everybody told me, go to, and we said, well, who's in the audience? Do they buy this? Do they buy that? Is that really the right audience for you? Because we all have to be discerning. The person who told her that, it's probably the right audience for them. I don't think it's the right audience for her. So we have to use discernment, we have to be critical thinker, but most importantly, we gotta look for those toxic people, the negative people, the people who wanna drag us down, the people who wanna tell us why it can't be done, people who wanna tell us why it's always been done the other way and why it won't work the new way. If, if I could tell you one thing, what, how do you get accelerate your prosperity? It's be mindful of who you're spending time with and be willing to consciously, mindfully reduce some of the people in your life and the time you spend with some of the people in your life so you can create a vacuum and have more positive, empowering, inspiring people in your life. What do you think? Get down below, give me your comments, questions, everything. Tell people about Prosperity TV. Until next week, peace, love you guys, live rich. So I'm leaving the Aria. I'll be back next week. I think I'll be back. I don't, actually, I think I'll be in Miami. So I'll see you next Monday. <laughs>